artist, yeah? And I do tattoos, bro. I'm just trying to find another another business, you know. I'm trying to open another business. And I'm trying to get married, yeah? So when, when these two things happen, bro, I'm going to convert. So I stop seeing them. What's your name? It's Deltro. Deltro. Deltro, okay. Yeah. That's your real name or your street no, name? No, no, that's my Okay, name. no problem. Look, uh, my brother, look. I think I met in Urbin, bro. Maybe. Maybe. I was You've there, maybe. There? Maybe. I've been there, yeah. I've been, been there, there within the mosque as well. Could be. In Urbin. Yeah. You know, I meet people every day, but I feel like I've seen you before. Yeah. I feel like I've seen you before. Look, 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 uh, Deltro, look. Do you think there is a Muslim who doesn't sin? Sorry? Do you think there is a Muslim who doesn't sin? Who doesn't sin? Yeah, at all. There are Muslims that sin, yeah. No, I'm saying, is there any Muslim that doesn't sin? It could be, yeah. No. Impossible. Prophet Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Prophet Muhammad told us, Kullu ibn Adam khata. Every child of Adam makes sense. So if you're waiting to, to stop sins before you become Muslim, that will never happen. Why? You and me, this life is a test. You're weak, I'm weak, we're weak, you understand? We fall, but Allah opened the door for repentance for us. We seek forgiveness. We ask Allah Azza wa to forgive us, you know? Then He forgives us and He opens the door for us. He made forgiveness. If Allah, Allah, one of His names is He's the forgiven. If we don't sin, how is Allah going to forgive us? It's true. You need to sin, you understand? Because if we're right, yeah, she's gonna replace us with Yeah, other if we're perfect, God yeah. is perfect. We're not perfect, we're human beings. Allah says that if we, we didn't sin, Allah will remove us and bring a creation that sins, and then He will forgive them. Because He's the forgiven, He's the merciful. This is our nature, my brother. We make these mistakes, you get the point? So leave this idea. You make tattoos, you make, you kill someone, doesn't take you out of Islam. You're still a Muslim, but you are a sinning Muslim. You understand what I'm trying to say? But if you die today, my, my brother, hellfire is your destination. Straight away. Straight away. If you die without accepting Islam, hellfire, there's no other choice. Yeah. But you accept Islam, you die, even if you're punished, you're going to go to paradise eventually. Yeah. Because you died on Islam. And Allah said he made uh, paradise. No one will enter except the Muslim. So you do not delay something that will take you to paradise and you don't know when you're going to die. You want to get married? Do you know how long uh, this guy been saying I'm going to be married and that guy and some of my friends saying I'm going to get married? Years and years, you don't know. You get the point? You take your step, become a Muslim, then work on yourself. Do you know in Islam we believe we have faith, something we call Iman. That faith increases and decreases. Do you know how to increase your faith? By praying. So if you don't become Muslim, how are you going to increase your faith? Do you get the point? Yeah. When you increase your faith, do you know what's going to help you? To leave all the sins around you, to practice Islam better, to be good around the better company. So if you want to improve your life, you have to start by doing good deeds. You have to become Muslim and start doing good deeds. And when you do that, as I said to you, you will sin. Wallahi, if you become Muslim, a uh, hundred years a Muslim, you will sin. I'm saying a prophet told us, there is not a human being that doesn't sin. Bring me one Muslim on this planet in, in the human history that didn't sin. You get the point? We're human, we're, we're not perfect. If you are perfect, you can avoid to sin. You're not perfect, I'm not perfect. You get the point? Even the prophets of God, they did some things that God corrected them on. You're not the prophets of God, you know, prophets of God. I mean, God chose this as the best people in humanity, the best creation of human beings, but they still made mistakes. So let's say you. Let's say if I become a Muslim yeah, and I still have a girlfriend and I still do tattoos, yeah, you know? You still a Muslim? I'm still a Muslim. You still a Muslim? And I ask for forgiveness. You ask for forgiveness Muslim. and when you pray, you come close to Allah then you will want to leave these things. Because look, you and me, we cannot just leave things like this. No one changes 360 degrees. I had a friend, he became Muslim, he used to drink. He's a heavy drinker, he's Irish. You know, they drink like water. He became Muslim and he was drinking for six months after Islam. And then he left. It took him time. It will take you time. It will take everyone time. But you do it and you, right now you don't delay. You do it right now, you take your choice. I will contact you, I'll take your number, get people to teach you how to pray. Any questions you have, we'll answer you. And you're talking about a girlfriend. As I said to you, marriage is open. Try to find you a wife, to get a wife instead of going that way. Do you get the point? Yeah. You try to learn how you pray. Trust me, my brother, look. 
prayer in Islam is our connection to Allah. If you're connected to Allah, you are in your strongest case. You will leave anything for, for Allah. But right now, you're not connected. You're disconnected from your creator. That's why things will be difficult for you to leave. And yeah, Satan, shaitan, yeah. yeah, and Shaitan will say what to you? Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. You always give, uh, think you always give, what do you call it? Demands that he will always give stuff to sin. Yes, he yes, yes. Give you life. And he will always delay you more yeah, and say yeah. to you, uh, yeah, leave yeah, this yeah, first. Leave Why? This so you die. Yeah. Once you die, he knows you're going to, to hellfire. You get the, this is his plan. Never cold, yeah. His plan is to make you die as a disbeliever. You get the point? Yeah. So you take the, the step today. Allah says in the Quran, He wants to guide you, He opens your heart in Islam. Mm -hmm. And Allah says, those who struggle in our way, we will make it easy for them. We guide them our ways. So you want Allah to make it easy for you to open new doors for marriage, for this, for that. Yeah, yeah. First, take the step. Uh -huh. But when you take the step, you will be tested. You get the point? Things will become difficult maybe in your life. You need to remain steadfast on your religion. You get the point? And then Allah will open doors for you, my brother. Allah will open doors for you. So, uh, is it okay if you see I'm Christian, right? Is it okay if I go to the mosque and learn and stuff? You, when you become Muslim, when you become Muslim, I will guarantee to take you to the mosque. Uh, but, but without being a Muslim, I can't. You can go, you can go. But, but because I did this with my friends. You can go as an open day. Le learn stuff. You can go, you can go. Yeah. But but why go as a non-Muslim? Why not go as a Muslim? Because you see when uh, you convert, I heard that Allah forgives all your sins. Yeah? Yes. And you see... But I'll tell you something. When you repent, Allah forgives your sins. And He replaces, and he replaces your bad deeds into good deeds. Every Listen to what I'm saying now. Allah replaces your bad deeds to good deeds. Imagine you, you rape, or you steal, or you do this. Allah will, when you repent, Allah will not only forgive you, He will make these bad deeds good deeds. So if that's what is in your mind, you can do that as a Muslim as well. Because when you become Muslim, it's a form of repentance. That's why your sins are forgiven, do you understand? Because you now repented from the evil, you stop. You didn't believe in Allah, you repent from that sin. And you started believing in Allah. That's what it means. That's why we say your sins are forgiven. But that is the case for every deed that you will do. As I said to you, if it is the, the idea of sinning, leave that on the side. Leave the isna, wallahi, it will remain with you. Because you always sin, my brother. You always sin. But if, if you're sure, you believe in this, you know it's from God, Khalas, then take the step. I've been struggling for years, bro. Yeah. Take the step. Christian, you know, you know thought, oh, bro. Allah brought you here. Yeah. You've been Christian, you're saying you've been Christian, something fell off. Always praying to show me the right way, bro. And yeah. I got to the point where I know, I know. But Allah is, showing you the, Allah is showing you the right way today. I know. How do you think you came here? We believe everything is distant. Yeah. Nothing happens like this. Allah brought you here today. Allah opening the door for you and giving you a chance. Yeah. So tomorrow you don't say, I couldn't do it. But I said, Allah, you were worried about sinning, you got answers. You worried about this, you got answers. You want to go to the mosque, go as a Muslim. Go as a brother in Islam and, let, and pray with the brothers. Not just watch them, but act. Pray with them. Be a part of the community in reality, not just watch from further away, you know? When you go inside the building, you can look at the furniture. If you're outside, how are you going to look at the furniture? Come inside the building first and then look at its beautiful furniture, beautiful ceiling. You get the point? Yeah. So enter Islam first and then look at, at things around you, you know? Do it with me right now. I think you're ready. I think you're ready. Well, I, I think you're ready. Uh, do you know why I think you're ready? You know why I think you're ready? Because you've been waiting for three years. If you told me uh, you, yesterday I learned about Islam, I'll say, okay, no, go read. Ah, you've been, three years you've been ready. You've been reading the Quran. You know sins are forgiven, you become Muslim. You know uh, what, what's going to happen to you. You know what Allah is. You know what Prophet Muhammad is. What are you waiting for? You are there. But shaitan will push you and push you. My job is to try to bring you. Allah says, you don't know tomorrow you're going to end up in your grave or not. I don't know. Wallahi, you're walking by right now, you die. The thing you will wish for the most is that you took that step. Why? Because it's too late. No, no doors are open anymore. What's going to change in your life if you became Muslim right now? The thing is, bro, look, I know I'm still going to be sinning. Because, bro, I 
I'm with this girl here and I'm sinning. You see, I have tattoos, bro. I got tattoos. But you're sinning right now? Yeah, I know What's the I'm difference? Sinning, but the moment you repent, yeah, and you convert, Allah forgives all your sins, right? You're like a I said to you, day. you become Muslim. And from then I want to stop sinning. And I know no, no, I no. Uh, why you don't today? Stop today. If you know you will you stop, why you don't stop today? No, I'm locked. I can't stop because yeah. I I'm already opening a small. So, piece. how is it going to change when you become Muslim? How is it going to change when I become Muslim? If you can't stop right now, yeah. do you think the miracle will happen when you become Muslim and then everything will, will change? I'm telling you, you, you're not thinking clearly. You're letting the shaitan play with your mind. Because I said to you, if you become Muslim now and you sin, you're guaranteed paradise. You get the point? Yeah, yeah. If you die on Islam, you're guaranteed to go to paradise. So, but if you die right now, you're saying open a business, do this. You, do you think you're guaranteed you're gonna live to do that? Wallahi, I do not know if I'm here tomorrow or not. Next two hours, I do not know if I'm here or not. What makes you guaranteed you're going to get married, you're going to start a business? You're going to... Who told you that? Allah says the Jews and the Christians, they say we'll be only punished for a period of time in, in, in the fire. Allah says, did Allah tell you that? Did Allah give you that promise? Did Allah promise you he will wait until you get business, you get mad? Did Allah tell you that? Did Allah give you that promise? So how do you know? Me and you, we do not know the day we live in this life. We do not know. You get the point? Do not let the shaitan play with your mind. Even if you are a Muslim and you will have issues with your girlfriend that you talked about, you are still a Muslim. Do you, get the, do you get my point? And when you leave that thing and repent, Allah will forgive you. He will replace your bad deeds into good deeds. It is the same for you are a Muslim or you are not a Muslim. So if you're it's donation, yeah, you can donate. Don't worry much. about donation, just focus on focusing on you now. Leave the money now and everything, this is nothing, yeah? I'm not ready. Khalas, I look, I don't want to push you. I want you to do I want you to do it yourself. But I feel that you're ready. Because you've been three years, look, I'll tell you something. We do this every day. Yeah, people become Muslim, alhamdulillah, every day. I never push anyone to, to accept Islam. Except if I see that person is ready. If someone first time learns about Islam, I say go read. Right? Someone who's already been, there's many people who already read the Quran, know this, they're practicing, they, they fast Ramadan, but they're not taking the step. Why? Shaitan is stopping them. You're thinking you got a, a reason, but the, it's only Shaitan stopping you. There's nothing else stopping you from accepting Islam. Can you give me one valid reason? You said forgiven the sins, I said you repent, Allah will forgive the sins. It's the same thing. Ah. One valid reason why you, you don't want to do it right now. Because I know I'm still going to be sinning. I, what did I say to you? Is there any Muslim who doesn't sin? Do you want me to stop every Muslim here on the table to tell you they're sinning? They're sinning? Stop any Muslim in the road. Brothers, are you Muslim? Do you sin? Do you make sins in your life? Say you? The noob, the noob. Do you make sins? No, no, no. Bring any Muslim from the road. <laughs> Bring, stop anyone. Stop. Look, look. He's already. There. He's like, he's a Muslim still. We don't say to him, you're not a Muslim. Do you get the point? Don't think that I'm gonna leave everything, then I'm gonna enter the faith. You think you're gonna become God, pure, perfect, and then you become Muslim? That's not Islam. Islam is everyone makes sins, everyone makes mistakes. So if I, study, if I still do look, the thing is bro. I don't care what you will do, you will be a Muslim. I don't care, you don't need to tell me. As long as you believe in Allah, you worship Allah, you get the point? You don't worship other gods with Allah, you believe in Prophet Muhammad, it doesn't matter. You're still a Muslim. And everything will come eventually. I'm not ready, but... Why you're not ready? According to who you're not ready? Tell me, give me one reason you're not ready. That's my job, that's what I do. My brother, I said to you, I said to you, you will never stop sinning. Do you sin, man? Wallahi, wallahi, I'm telling you about me. I sin. Allah said that, Allah said that if you people doesn't do sin, Allah will remove you and bring other people who does sin and are the friends. Did I tell you that or no? Did I tell you that or no? So let's say you become Muslim, yeah? And let's say you do tattoos, you do bad stuff, and you ask for forg uh, forgiveness. Is it gonna be forgiven, or you still it's still a bad thing? Do, do you know what I'm telling? What I'm saying to you is the only way you're gonna stop is that you become Muslim. And slowly, slowly. I want you. I, I want you to understand this point. Yeah, you will never stop 
until your faith increases. And your faith will never increase until you become a Muslim. Do you understand this point? That's what I was saying to you. If you're thinking about leaving, of course they are sins, they're bad things. But you will never be able to leave them because your heart is attached to them. Your heart is not attached to Allah. You will never leave them until you attach your heart to your Creator. When you attach your heart to your Creator, the Creator will allow you to leave these issues. When you become Muslim, you will see now, right now, when you become the Shahada, everything changes. Same person, you're going to say, oh yeah, you're right now. It's nothing big deal anyway. You believe already. You just need to say, but the devil knew that the guy going to say, Allah forgive all the previous sin, even if you like a born baby again. Then you see the Allah keep forgiving. Then you repent, Allah will forgive you. Yeah, same in the Quran. That's why delay from the devil. Just to accept it, but you're ready. Look, bro, does it have to be today? Can we do it another time? You take my number. You're not gonna come back. You're not gonna come back. I know. Shaitan will pull you away. Shaitan will pull you away. And Shaitan will, will drag you a step by step. Do you understand? I know why I have experience. You think how long I've been doing this? Well, like one person, he became Muslim and he was like you. He said he used to thank us every day. He said, if it weren't you guys, I would have stayed the way I was. I would not have moved forward. Because he was there, he was there, you were there. You tell me, I believe this is from Allah, I believe in Prophet Muhammad. I didn't, did I tell you about Prophet Muhammad? You already told me you believe, right? Did I tell you believe in the Quran? You already tell me you believe. So I don't need to tell you anything, you're already there. The first thing you said to me was what? I'm gonna convert. But not now. The first thing you said, I didn't say anything. You said that yourself. Do you get my point? You're coming ready to do it. I've not done anything here. I'm just reminding you that if these things are shaitan stopping you from moving forward, nothing else. You see else. this, bro. You see this. Is it true, yeah, that uh, if you are a Muslim, yeah, and you get tattoos, uh, you can't go gender? <laughs> No, it's not true. No, there's no hadith. The Prophet What's never the said that. The Quran doesn't say that. It is a sin in Islam, okay. right? But the sin does not stop you from going to paradise. The only thing that stops you from going to paradise is you worship other than Allah. You understand? You disbelieve in Allah. You disbelieve in Allah. Like right now, you're not yeah. believing yet. So because of this, you're still gonna be forgiven. If you repent and stop, you'll be forgiven. And stop. Yeah. But that, as I said to you, how are you gonna stop? When your faith increases. Let's say if you slowly, slowly stop everything, not Allow let's say one year. Yeah. One year, two years. I'm telling you, even if you don't stop, where are you gonna end up? Where are you gonna end up in paradise? But right now, you're only ending up in hellfire if you die like this. One year, two year, four years, doesn't matter. When you die, as a non-Muslim, you end up in hellfire. Do you understand? Even doing it though, it's like you're a Muslim or a, do you sin? You're his friend. Do you sin or you don't sin? Did he did he stop being Muslim? Did, did I say to him you're not my Muslim brother? And you know the one thing clear for you is that whatever you've already done it here, yeah, in your hand, when you became Muslim, anyway it's all forgiven. So that was already in your body that this is gone. All gone. Yeah. Don't worry about it. If you did after as a Muslim, then it's not. This is yeah, different story. It's a different story. These ones, this is the past. This is the past. This is the past. You keep it or you remove it, yeah, it's gone. Don't yes. worry about this. It's forgiven. I think it's ready to be Muslim. He's ready, he said he will do it. Inshallah, very simple. When you've done it, you say that it's simple. Inshallah. Bismillah. Say say after me in English first and you will see you will see I'll tell you something my brother you will see how easy it is when you do it and you will see how the shaitan is move away from your mind say I testify wait one second more hmm. yes before I do it yeah can you recite for me please? what do you want me to recite I don't know anything I want to feel like comfortable I want recite to open my heart you know the shahada is no recite Quran for him he wants recite, to hear something yeah, I just recite want Quran to feel more comfortable because like something is like preventing me Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, anything. Ready? Say, 
I testify. I testify. There is nothing worthy of worship. There is nothing worthy of worship except Allah. Except Allah. And I testify. And I testify. That Prophet Muhammad. The Prophet Muhammad is his messenger. Is his messenger and servant. And servant. Let's say you done it. Now let me say the same thing in Arabic. Say, Ashhadu. Ashhadu. And. And. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa. Illa. Allah. Allah. Wa Ashhadu. Wa Ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasul. Rasul. Allah. Let me give you a hug, man. Let me give you a hug, man. Come on, man. Allah. Allah Akbar, Akhi. MashaAllah. Bro, I feel different. You are very. Wallahi, Akhi, the Shaitan. Shaitan, move from your heart. MashaAllah, Akhi. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Accept Islam. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. 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 Amin, Ya Rab. Amin, Ya Rab. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Wallahi. Barakallah fi kahir. Zakallah fi kahir. May Allah reward you, Akhi. May Allah bless you, Akhi. Barakallah fi kahir. Barakallah fi kahir. Wallahi, I'm nothing, Akhi. Wallahi. Zakallah fi kahir. Wallahi, Allah says, Allah says, Allah wants to remove your burden. The shaitan has a burden. Do you know sins has a burden? The burden on your back. Brother, just check in two weeks. The burden in your back and the burden in your heart. You feel is lifted. Allah, um, the shaitan, shaitan is putting sins on your heart, sins on your back. When you repent, when you accept Islam, Allah forgives these sins, you feel like your back is light. What did I tell you, my brother? When you accept Islam, your heart increases, your faith increases, you become stronger, it's easy for you to leave this stuff. But the minute you're in the hold of the shaitan, Allah, oh, you did it, I didn't do anything. Allah wanted you to accept Islam. Allah brought you here today, Allah guided your heart to Islam, Allah so good in you, so that you want to accept. You know other people? Women, I'm never gonna leave women. I'm never gonna leave clubbing. I'm gonna never gonna leave. I'm never gonna accept Islam. Right or wrong? People are like this. You didn't say that. Allah saw in your heart that you have a pure heart. You're trying to learn. You're trying to become a Muslim. You've been struggling for three years. Said to you, Allah said, if you struggle for me, He will guide you His way. Yeah. Give me your number. Let me take your details because I will connect you with people to teach you how to pray and everything. Inshallah. Can we take a picture with you. Take a hundred pictures, Akhi. Mashallah. Yeah, yeah. Give me your number. I'll I'll give you my number as well. Yeah. Yeah. Inshallah, here. Yeah. Thanks. This is your number, yeah. Well, I I thank you because. So this is my number, yeah. The one calling you. Yeah, that's me. How should I save you? I'm Muhammad. You can put Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali, if you like. You know the boxer? Yeah. Same. Yeah. I'm a boxer, bro. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Mashallah. Can you? I'm Delta, bro. Delta, Delta. Thank you, guys. I appreciate. How old are you, Akhi? All of you. Thank you, man. How old are you? Wallahi, Akhi. Wallahi, you made me happy, Akhi. You made me happy. You made me happy. Mashallah. I will make sure to contact you, bring someone to contact you, people will contact you, teach you how to pray. I want to take you to the mosque, inshallah, yeah? Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Inshallah. Uh, I'll call you. See when you're free, I'll take you to the mosque. Yeah, this is yours, man. You can have everything, man. This is the Quran. And these are few leaflets about Islam as well, yeah? Take them, inshallah. There you go. Do you have any questions? No. Do you know why? Shaitan is gone from yeah. Shaitan is gone from your mind. That's yeah. why. <laughs> I just want to bless you all, guys, and I pray to God that all your sins have been forgiven. I mean, Ya Rab, I mean, make dua for us because you're, you you have a white slate now. If you call upon, uh, you make dua for us. You ask Allah, oh, supplicate for us. You ask Allah, just ask Allah directly yeah. to forgive us all, forgive to guide, Allah to keep us on, to, to yeah, keep yeah, us on the straight path. Say, I mean, I will make dua. May Allah Azza wa Jal guide us all and keep us on the straight path and bless the brothers here and grant us the highest level in paradise. Say, I mean. Alhamdulillah. Allah, I'm happy, man. Thank you, God. Allah, you made our day, man. Thank you. Man. You made our day, man. You made our day. Mashallah. Amin, Ya Rab. Amin. Take care of him, yeah? Take care of him. No, no. We, with you, I don't want anything from you. I want you to go. I want to donate. But I remember. Remember. Wallahi, wallahi. Don't worry about the money. Remember, you made. Remember, remember, I want you to. 
to remember one thing if you remember anything from today. Okay. Remember that you did this for Allah. Yeah. And because you did it for Allah, yeah. you never did a wrong choice. Okay. You understand? Your choice was the right choice because you did it for God. You didn't, do, you didn't do it for me, you didn't do it for anyone. You did it for Allah. Right? Yeah, I did. Alhamdulillah. This time is pure. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Wallahi, I'm happy, man. Yeah, yeah. Wallahi. I live in uh, Tottenham near Wood Green. Oh, Wood Green? Yeah. yeah. There is a mosque there. I think I met him in Wood Green. Yeah. Wallahi, I was in Da'wah. I did Da'wah maybe one Wood Green one time. I met him. Oh, I think. Allah. There was another guy with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would do Da'wah in groups, you know? He gave me some Muslim tea, but it was really nice. I, wallahi, I remember your face. And subhanAllah, Allah brought you back. Yeah, yeah. I met you before, and Allah brought you back. Yeah, subhanAllah. Allah, subhanAllah. May Allah bless you, bro. May Allah bless you. I hope I meet you. Look, bro, if I have any question, can I contact you? Yeah? Yes. Call me, text me. Do, money, anything, akhi. Don't worry. I'm your brother. We're all your brothers in Islam now. Once you become Muslim, we're your brothers, yeah? Thank you. Call, text, anything. I will give you whatever you need, inshallah. So, do I need to be clean, take a shower before I read the Quran? And everything? Uh, when you go home, when you go home, take a shower. Yeah, okay. take a shower. Then read the Quran. B read the Quran after you take a shower. Anyways, when you become Muslim, it's, it's recommended to take a shower. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Take a shower, but your heart, yeah. that your intention is you purifying yourself. Yeah. You purifying your body, yeah? But you purify inside now. Your intention, you purify outside, yeah? Inshallah. Tell him about the button. No, step by step, don't worry, the brother, we're going to take him through everything, inshallah. Yeah, we have we have his number, don't overburden him now, step by step, inshallah, step by step. So, inshallah, but make sure you call me, yeah? They're going to help me as well. Inshallah, but make sure you contact me, because I'll teach you the right way, inshallah, yeah? Take it to the mosque and everything, inshallah, yeah? See you, bro. إذا أعجبك الفيديو لا تنسى الإعجاب والتعليق ولكي يصلك كل جديد اشترك الآن